amid the turmoil of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic, we want justice. racial unrest and the faltering economy, seven mayors have found support, counsel, and fellowship with one another. What does it take to be a black man and the mayor of, of a major city right now? All of us are dealing with the, the trifecta of a global health pandemic, economic crisis, and racial unrest. All three of those things combined requires a, a deep moral compass to make tough decisions. Uh, and it's our mission every day to speak for those that, that often don't have agency and have an inability to speak for themselves. Doing the right thing, I think that's what we're required to do in, in our roles. Thank you, man. These mayors, mostly from the South and under the age of 40, are putting community first in the most trying of times. What's been the most difficult part or time during your, during your tenure and why? This is my second year in office. Dealing with three crises of the pandemic and economic crisis and the, the social unrest has been in the streets on top of hurricane hitting Louisiana. I, I don't think you can even write up a more challenging year for a mayor. Just the social and civil unrest that we all are experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis based on the things that are going on across the, uh, what we would call uh, our Emmett Till moment uh, here and for our generation. The uh, COVID-19 circumstance has been the most challenging. It is creating uh, a circumstance where it's exposing underlying conditions within our nation. I think we all can agree that 2020 has illuminated a number of inequities and inequalities that are in, in each of our cities. But I also allows for us to do, I think, some courageous things and actually call these inequities out for what they are. As a young black man in America, who's now a, a mayor of a major city, how does that inform how you govern, monitor, run a police department specifically? You, you have to listen to all your constituents because at, at the end of the day, all of our jobs as mayor, the responsibility of public safety is ours. And in our listening, uh, we have to be proactive with our actions. We're in a time of justice and accountability. And it takes uh, a balance. And, and I think what uh, I've tried to do is to have a compassion for our communities, to have a compassion for uh, our residents. Through it all, they rely on each other. They connect weekly, sometimes daily, via text. A safe space for advice, solace, and uh, jokes. How do you lean on the other gentlemen who are sharing this screen now to help you navigate these, these times? Well, as heavy as our jobs are, um, we depend on each other um, for solutions. We're talking to each other about things like, do you have a curfew? What, what are you doing in terms of, of controlling or quelling protests? And at a time like this, with a country as divided as it is, this has been vital for us. This is a new South. This text thread and our communication actually allows us to pull from experiences throughout the South to make us even more informed leaders. And just to get a glimpse of their political minds uh, is something that also kind of, I think, keeps us all sharp. Is, is the thread all business? No. <laughs> Listen, we may start off with, you know, some, some platitudes, but, you know, it quickly goes downhill into, you know, whose college team is the best. There's nothing we can't ask of one another. Um, however, we're all still trying to figure out how we can have an office like Mayor Reed, and it's still, it's still an issue for all of us at this point in time. Um, look at it, it's about 5,000 square feet. <laughs> um, but but we don't have that type of opportunity. But uh, what, I, what I do, what I say. <laughs> so we've been talking about the text thread. Who's going to be able to provide some excerpts that we can put on television? <laughs> oh, you're a little quiet. No one's got anything to say. <laughs> we don't have any Michael Cohen's in this group. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Uh, we did not get our hands on that no text Texas, thread. That's at NSFW, not safe for work, no, right? No, uh, but a really, really cool group of guys. And Mayor Reed, by the way, the mayor mm. of, uh, of Montgomery there, he's the oldest in the group. He's 46. The rest of them are all under the age of 40. Uh, but they said at the, at the beginning of, of the pandemic, uh, one of them decided, you know what, it might be a good idea to reach out to some of my other yeah, mayors. That was South. great. Um, so we're going we're gonna to hear more from them coming up in the third hour of, of today, including more on how they have handled the social justice reckoning uh, specifically. But a big thanks to all of them. Mm -hmm. They're very busy right now, so I appreciate them covering out some time. I love that they let us kind of let us yeah. in on their, their group. Kind of. That's kind of. cool. Thank you.